I just went up there and performed sexual favors. 634 blowjobs in five days. The movie that won her the big one. While Pretty Woman put Julia Roberts on the map. I'm really quite tired. It was her role in Aaron Brockovich that shot her to the top in this career-defining film. And her first Best Actress win. The movie left a significant mark on cinema, but it also spotlighted an extraordinary true story. Backed by Julia's powerful performance, she brings Aaron Brockovich to life while putting a spotlight on her activism against corporate greed. The Steven Soderbergh biographical film was released in 2000 and follows Aaron Brockovich, a single mother struggling to find her footing. But when you spend the past six years raising babies, it's real hard to convince someone to give you a job that pays worth a damn. Are you getting every word of this down, honey, or am I talking too fast for you? After eventually landing a job with a local law firm, she stumbles upon medical records linked to real estate files. Confused about why these records are associated with real estate, she requests to investigate the matter further as her curiosity is piqued. Her discovery leads her to Hinkley, California where a major corporation is accused of polluting the local water supply, causing devastating illnesses. Erin's tenacity and empathy for the affected locals motivates her to bring justice to the affected families in a classic David versus Goliath story. These people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at the age of 20. Julia Roberts truly embodies Erin Brockovich. Her portrayal is raw, and authentic. She brings out Aaron's fiery spirit, all which contributed to her eventual win for Best Actress at the Academy Awards. I'm so happy. Thank you. It's a performance that not only defined her career, but made her one of the highest paid actresses in the world. The film has an impressive supporting cast. Albert Finney plays Ed Mastry, Aaron's boss, whose initial skepticism of her would eventually lead to his admiration and partnership with Aaron. Erin Eckhart, her biker neighbor and eventual love interest, adds a layer of personal depth to Erin's story. The ensemble cast supports the narrative beautifully, each adding their unique touch to this compelling story. I mean, there may be many men out there who don't mind being the maid and getting nothing in return, but I sure as shit ain't one of them. The actual Erin Brockovich is as formidable as her cinematic counterpart. Her activism started with the Hinckley case, but it certainly didn't end there. She continued to be an environmental activist, advocating for cleaner water and holding corporations accountable nationwide. Her story reminds us that one person's persistence can indeed make an impactful difference. I've seen them time and time again use bankruptcy as a tool to get out of liability. Erin Brockovich isn't just a film. It's a statement about justice, the power of the underdog, and the impact of grassroots activism. Combining these aspects into a film resonated with audiences as they praised Julia Roberts' unforgettable performance and portrayal of Aaron Brockovich. He's gonna make them pay 333 million. Julia Roberts' Oscar-winning performance and the real Aaron Brockovich will forever be linked because of this film. And the strength of this movie keeps her activism alive in many ways. The film keeps her in the spotlight and allows her to pursue her passion and activism always fighting for the less fortunate and all the silent victims of corporate greed. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. That's all you got, lady. Two wrong feet in fucking ugly shoes. Aaron Brockovich, a masterful gem.